Well, hello and welcome to our live coverage on what is, of course, a very big day on the American continent. It is the opening day of this great competition, the great party featuring 12 nations, and the turnout reflects the significance. The atmosphere, a real treat for those who are part of it. It is indeed special. The Urbano Caldera is located slap bang in the middle of a residential district here in Villa Belmiro. It is certainly a venue that has a lovely homely feel to it. And here is the national anthem of... Well, that was impressive. Match that. The imperative for everyone, three points on opening day. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely. And you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. That gets things running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Ankel Di Maria. He's someone who rarely fails to make a big impression. He's such a silky, elusive dribbler and a fine finisher with the knack of scoring some spectacular goals. He's a player that this team will want to have on the ball as often as they can. He's a great creator. Well, quite no argument from me on that one. Cueva. Cueva. Peru getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Tries to get it forward quickly. A long ball, but not especially accurate. That has put a stop to that. It's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. They've played it short. Cueva. It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. Paredes. And it's Messi. Out to the right. Shapes to shoot! Goal! Argentina! And it's Argentina in front! A 
Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Argentina break the deadlock well that's the currency he deals in and he's come good yet again never the one to let you down in these situations Cueva tried to play it through yeah I mean he, I think he did well to, to spot the run he just didn't get enough behind it it happens had a foul, yes, the uh, referee's given it. Guerrero, Argentina are in control here on the brink of half-time. Keeper's got good distance on that. Cueva. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. And there's the end of the first half. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. Thank you. And we're off again. Argentina really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Cueva. Goes direct to the front line. And that is as far as they're going to go. Paredes. Di Maria Acuna and it's Di Maria Argentina are ahead here by what is still the only goal Guerrero he's left his man Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Tries to pick out a teammate. Peru showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. It just has to be done. Di Maria turns and goes back good idea just poorly executed
keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. The ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Still just that single goal and we are nearly done. Peru are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And it's Dybala. Messi already, of course, on the score sheet. Argentina certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Hoists it forward. Ball's gone out of play. Gets into some space. Lovely bit of skill there. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. Header! And that is the end of it. They hung on right till the finish. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day and a platform on which to build. Your reflections then, Jim. Listen, ideally, any new campaign needs a start that puts three points on the board and its mission accomplished.